ARP poisoning. A short video I want to uh, show you how to execute a man in the middle attack or at least you know to see a small example of it. What I am what I am using is an application that you probably know. I'm not a hacker uh, but uh, from time to time I use tools like that and uh, you know to test a few things. It is it is good to see uh, see that in action and learn how you can protect your network. Okay, well, let me just give me a sec. It's a very very simple lab. There is a switch and two laptops. That's Windows 8 and this is Windows 7. And uh, well, this is a switch and a router, so this is my default gateway as well 10.10.11.1. This guy is dot two, and that guy is dot three. Now, the MAC address for, for my uh, MAC address of my PC is. Oops. MAC address is 8613 at the end, the last four digits, yeah? Okay, and what I want to do, okay, this guy, let me just change the car. This guy wants to browse the internet, yeah? So it will, this laptop will go to its default gateway, this router, and this router will send it up there. What I want to do, I want to pretend that I am your default gateway. So I am 10.10.11.1. Okay. So again, I'm not a hacker, but I found it online. It's pretty easy to use to do that with this application. So yeah, I decided to show it to you and I tested it. It was working. So hope it is uh, going to uh, work again. So when I do ARP A on my laptop, you will see that 10.10.11.1 is this MAC address, yeah? This is a MAC address of my router, okay? And you will be able to see that in hosts, okay? Was it the same? A166? A166, yeah, it's the same, okay? So now what I uh, what I want to do, I want to go to ARP and say break it. Okay, so this is the icon start and stop ARP and it's going to start poisoning my network. Okay, and pretending, oh, that's me, that's me, that's me. Okay, so if I go to my laptop now, take a look, it was 10.10.11.1 was 66. When I do ARP A now, you will see it is 1.3, okay? It's really awesome. Of course, dyna dynamic ARP inspection on a Cisco, Cisco switch will, that's the easiest solution for, for this type of attack. But it's really fun to see that in action. I know a lot of you are just like hackers and probably you're better than me. So this is a great tool that you could use and play with all these options. Please remember, that you can do it in your lab if you do that in a production environment even for fun they can take it to court okay they can uh, treat that uh, with the highest priority so be very careful don't play with things like that tools like that in a production environment because you can be surprised that a log like that can go to a security guy and they will find you if you get to court because of that, don't blame me. Thank you very much.